When I started college, I was really interested in physics and chemistry, but as I went through those training programs, I became more interested in directly impacting human life. So I found out that you could become a scientist and a physician, and so made the decision to go to medical school. One of the first experiences I had taking care of lupus patients, so it became a great area for me to focus as both a clinician and a scientist. I think I'm incredibly fortunate to actually see patients every week and to be a scientist. They're inspiring because it's clear that we need to do better. Lupus research, um, I think, has taken um, an amazing accelerating approach to understanding the disease. In the past 10 to 15 years, the progress we've made has been really exponential. We've also realized that this is a really complicated disease. So we have a long way to go with research, but I think we're making progress. The ALR has helped us with our research, of course with funding, which we cannot do research without. Um, but it's given us a way to go down a new avenue. Um, we had been funded to study other autoimmune diseases. It allowed us to identify an important question in lupus and, and start studying that. We meet together on an annual basis and we have a group of investigators all interested in lupus. I think that helps us all make connections and understand the disease better. We've taken our blindfolds off so we at least know what the other guy is looking at. We are making a lot of progress. That progress is going to help us treat our patients uh, so that they can do better and live more full lives.